Hey everyone, welcome in to our Preps on 11 Web Extra. Tyler Cash joined by Scorebook Live's Nate Olson. Week four of high school football here in Arkansas and the start of conference play is upon us. Mm -hmm. Big matchups across the board as yeah. we get into those conference games. Let's start with a game that uh, I think pits one of the earlier maybe surprises of the 5A against someone we always thought was going to be up there, Whitehall at Mills. Yeah. Uh Whitehall, we've talked about it before, not to go back into it, but just the, the tragedy that's happened there. And, you know, before before Ryan Mallett passed away, I wasn't even sure if White, how Whitehall was going to be. But they obviously have some more talent and have developed some stuff. Uh, I, it looks like they had a good offseason uh, because the, the running game is good. Jaden Smith, you know, Air Force uh, uh, commit, is having a great year. And they and weathering all that storm – but then playing good football. And I think maybe even playing better than they thought even before all this stuff happened. So um, it's definitely a game that Mills needs to take seriously, but you're not going to have to worry about that. I think they are a very focused team. Cortez Lee, uh, a great coach. Uh, and there's just talent all over the field. I said the other day that I think if there's one team that matches up well with Parkview, it's Mills. I think they have the athleticism all around the field to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with, um, with Parkview. So that, I think, is the difference in this game tonight. I, I think Mills is going to have a great chance to win a conference championship uh, and advance deep in the playoffs. But this has a chance to be a good game. I like the way Whitehall's playing, and they're, they're playing like a team that's really focused and playing together, unified. You can tell that they're playing for a cause uh, and probably playing a couple notches above what we thought they would be. All right, moving on up to some 7A Central play. Little Rock Southwest, one of the teams that we kind of talked before the year is a team that was making a jump potentially this year. Saw them go on the road in non-conference play and handle Rogers Heritage. Last week, a kind of heartbreaking one-point loss against Hot Springs. Yeah. But last year, Hot Springs blew Southwest out of the water. So even that was proof that yes. they've come a long way. They're going to have to really come a long way, though, this week. They get Conway. Absolutely. Uh, you know, Daryl Patton said, we have come a long way, but we still have a long way to go. And when you start from scratch, uh, and I thought when you combine those two programs together, McClellan and Fair, you would start off with that product would be maybe not from scratch, but I think some guys went other places. And so they really were behind the eight ball. But to their credit, they have you know, slowly but surely built, and now they're at a point where they can compete. The problem is, is Conway is really good, and I was telling somebody earlier today that Conway is going to be a lot better week 10 than they are now, uh, but I think they're better week four than I thought they would be at week four. So uh, the, the learning curve with Buck has been really seamless, and I think the big key with that is Donovan Amolo. 15 touchdowns in three games, five TD passes, three weeks. The first game at Bentonville, calmly like Joe Montana leads them on a two-minute drill touchdown to end the game. And, th and that's, you know, Buck has a lot of things that he needs to put in this program to make it like Bryant. You know, he's got this special recipe, the weightlifting, the workouts, early morning workouts, and all this stuff that he does. But the one thing that he didn't really have to worry about is a quarterback. You got a guy that's a four or three year starter and you know you, you just have to let him lead the football team. And he's hooked up with Chris O'Neill to make one of the more potent um, wide receiver QB combos. And so that I think has sped up the entire curve. And now there's a few places I think on defense and a few other places that they want to shore up. But the one thing that Buck has been good at over his career is coaching guys up. And that's why I said week 10 against Bryant, you look for them to be really primed. But I think they're already on their way. Uh, in Southwest, it's a bad draw to, to draw them the first game. But I think they will make the playoffs. They're going to get better too. And you're going to have to play these teams at some point. So it's like, you know, the week one or the first week of the conference or later, you're going to have to play them. Um, give it your best shot and see what happens. Exactly. Might as well see what you got at this yeah, point in the yeah. season. It'll be a great barometer. And if they do get blown out, I, I wouldn't panic if I was them because. I mean, Jonesboro saw that last year, you know, they, but they kept improving. They got thrust into that conference. And you, there are some winnable games on their schedule, and they are a much better team. So uh, I, I think they can get in the playoffs. All right. And, of course, the end of the playoffs, the goal, get to War Memorial Stadium. 
That's where our next game is going to be, though, because it's a Little Rock Catholic home game as they host Cersei, one of those teams that, you know, undefeated in non-conference, mm -hmm. but do we, do we really know what they've got? No, I, I don't think so. I, Tyler Strickland, their quarterback, has been good. You know, I like Zach Clark as a coach and uh, a guy that, that has had some good teams and that had some talent at Cersei, but maybe hasn't put it all together. Uh, so I think they're probably better than we thought, but maybe not as tested. This is a huge test for them in a barometer. I saw Catholic in person for two and a half quarters and I was very impressed. Last year, and was probably one of those that didn't give them enough credit early enough. And even once they beat Benton, I still wasn't sure that they could make a deep run, but they did. And the, and the thing that they've done this year is they've said, you know what? We lost some really key players, but that doesn't matter because we have a good football program now and we're just going to reload and we're going to put uh, Jackson England in there at quarterback. He's going to throw for 400 yards. You know, we've got Brooks Ward at receiver and we'll just, and we're going to even be better on offense. Um, you know, I thought Sam Sanders was a good quarterback, but sometimes he looked like a DB playing quarterback. Jackson England looks like a quarterback. I mean, the way he's slinging the ball, Ward's one of the better athletes you've never heard of. He's going to Air Force to play baseball. Uh, he looked really good at receiver. So this is a good team. They barely lost to Benton. It's a team that I think can get to the state championship. Uh, they just got outgunned by Benton, but Benton's a good team. Uh, I, I think that they'll be ready for this game, and it will, they will really take it to Cersei. But, you know, we'll see how good Cersei is uh, tomorrow night. And then finally, our game of the week, one of these games that you think, oh, man, how is this not, <coughs> not the Week 10 game? Because it's, it's the big rivalry yeah. game of the two West Little Rock private schools. Little Rock Christian playing host to Pulaski Academy. And uh, one of those rivalry games you kind of go, it's, it's been pretty one-sided outside of, of yeah. course, a certain state title game. But is this the year for Little Rock Christian? Well, it, it could be. Uh, and I'll talk about that in a minute. But, but whenever I think about this game, I think a few years ago, I was at the game and, and Kevin Kelly was a coach. He was also the AD at the time. He said this was the most stressful uh, week of the year and even you know more stressful in the championship just because of the rivalry and the tension and everything, you know, all the stuff that goes off the field, the, some of the talking and all that stuff. And so trying to keep everybody calm and, and composed so he said that was a real stressful week for him. So I always think about that when these teams play. And the other thing I think about is, you know, one year it was like 88-66. It's like you need to go, go ahead and bring an extra lunch along with you because you might be there till 11.30, you might be hungry. But uh, this is a classic rivalry game. Two teams that, you know, probably don't really like each other too much, but they get along, they, 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 they cross paths in other sports and, and know, have known each other for a long time, but they really both want to win this game. It means a lot to them. Um, you mentioned Christian. This is the one thing that, that's a little troubling about them. Ronnie Inoki is out for the season with a knee injury. So uh, he's their good running back. But you know, in football, you have to. Good teams have to do this all the time. It's the next guy up, and they've got a committee of running backs. Um, you've got Walker White, who's one of the better quarterbacks in the country. Uh, and I think in this game, you know, the last two games, and this means a lot to him because he's had brothers that have gone to PA. He went to PA, and then he left. I don't think he's had that signature game against them yet. And I think he would love to have a big time game. Friday night to win the ball game and have it be on his shoulders. He's capable of, I mean, sometimes you are hesitant to say a guy needs to put his team on his shoulders. There's other good players on this team too, but I kind of feel like in a game like this, when you are a blue chip division one quarterback, this is the time for you to shine. This is for the time where you run for hundred yards and two touchdowns and throw for 200. That's the kind of game this is. And I think that's the kind of game they're going to have to have to win. They've got a good defense. Uh, so they got to make some stops there. And then PA is PA. I mean, they've, they've done well. Um, they've had injuries. They've had guys transfer out uh, and they've still been able to get it done. And, and that's a credit to Anthony Lucas and the staff. All right, well, the highlights from that one, plus a host more coming your way on the Friday Night Blitz.